Hello Aquarius, I hope you're well. This is going to be a love reading. This is a how they feel about you love reading. We'll be looking at what's going on in your connection, how they feel about you, and what they're thinking about you or the connection, and what are their next actions towards you going to be. So as always, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. So just keep that in mind. Check out my other play or my playlist, not my other playlist, but check out my playlist for Aquarius if this doesn't resonate at all. All right, so let's get into this spirit. What messages do you have for Aquarius in love? For Aquarius regarding love. What's going on in their connection? Let's see what we have for you. Ten of Cups reverse, Queen of Coin. Interesting. So what I'm getting here is uh, uh, there's been heartbreak and disappointment in love. But it's almost like the appearance is different. You appear very stable, balanced. You could be in a commitment uh, even though you're very unhappy. And this could also be your person as well. What else? For Aquarius, any other messages? Six of Swords, Ten of Coins. So yeah, some of you are definitely in some sort of long-term commitment. Perhaps you were in a commitment with this person. Uh, I feel like one of you is leaving a commitment or has left. I feel like money is a something very important for some of you. What else? Any other messages? Yeah, Eight of Cups. One of you is definitely walking away here. This could have already happened in this connection. This could be um, one of you walking away from a third party. Yeah, and you're doing it quickly. Knight of Swords. I feel like maybe there's been communication about walking away here. Or perhaps you're just really thinking about doing this quickly. Almost like rushing away, running away. So we have two cards here about movement away and we have two cards about family we have the ten of cups and the ten of coin so all right so for this uh aquarius watcher here whoever's watching that has aquarius in their chart um you, this is a reading for those of you that are either walking a, one of you in this connection has walked away from either a third party or this commitment <clears throat> again this is a general reading so it will not resonate with everyone but if it does resonate let me know in the comments let's see if we can get some more information for Aquarius please when it comes to love Yep, this was a commitment, the higher font, Taurus energy. Again, I feel like on the outside, it appeared very solid, stable, possibly. I feel like someone here really cared about, not just appearances, but they cared about doing the right thing. Eight of Wands reverse, interesting. This is the opposite of that Knight of Swords energy. It's like a stopped no movement, no communication, being at a standstill. I feel like by doing the right thing, someone wasn't progressing forward or in a connection, there was no progression. I mean, in a commitment, there was no progression forward. It kind of just stopped there. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Interesting. There could be a third party here with the Three of Swords reverse. Another person, another situation that is interfering in this connection. Oh. This was, whoa, a lot of energy here. I have the Ace of Cups. Once I put this the Lover's Reverse card, I was like, <laughs> so much energy here. This is about someone that either there's been a separation with the lovers reverse um, or there's regret over a choice 
They chose something and they regretted it. It was not the right choice. So I feel like maybe a third party situation here was not the right choice. But I feel like someone's following their heart now. With the Ace of Cups at the bottom here. Interesting, Knight of Wands reverse. The plot thickens. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Actually, no, tell me about this Knight of Swords, because I feel like the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords are similar energies. The Magician reverse. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Six of Wands, I mean, not Wands, but I'm saying Six eight of Pentacles reverse, Magician reverse. This is something that's not fair, not balanced breadcrumbing someone's not on the same page here something's not being manifested it's almost like it's almost like someone was trying to manifest something and then they realized that if it, it just was like they were the only ones trying to manifest something or trying to make something happen let's see okay good one more card okay, one more card please for aquarius yeah, it's like it's almost like they started standing up for themselves because this wasn't fair. There could have also been a situation where whoever's walking away was dealing with someone that was unfair or manipulative in nature. Someone they couldn't really trust and so they they put up a fight. They fought back. Actually, let's see. What else can you tell me about this connection? About this connection, what else can you tell me? About this connection for Aquarius. Heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. What else? Calling in your soulmate. So this is a soulmate. But I feel like even though this is a soulmate, there's something that hasn't been communicated with the heart to heart conversations. This is like almost like that's needed. Someone needs to speak up about something. So let's see, what are they thinking or feeling about you? I'm using my secret moon oracle deck. This is out in my shop, link in the description box. How are they thinking or feeling about Aquarius spirit? How's this person? thinking or feeling about Aquarius. You are my soulmate. Yeah, there's definitely like a soulmate connection here. They could have been trying to manifest you here and I don't think it really worked as well. I have a choice to make. Yeah, because your first choice was not good. This person knows that when it comes to you in this connection, they have to decide a different choice here. I'm having doubts. Interesting. That's that Seven of Pentacles card. I don't see it here, but there's doubts. Hmm. Let's see if we can get more about that. My heart belongs to you at the bottom of the deck. So let's see if we can get some more information. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling about Aquarius. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling about Aquarius, please. Are they thinking or feeling about Aquarius? Two of Cups, another card for like soulmates right here. This person, this is a very strong connection, Aquarius. When they think about you, they think that you are their soulmate, for sure. What are they thinking or feeling about Aquarius? The star reverse, there you are Aquarius. 
something feels hopeless for your person like they are ready to give up maybe because they weren't able to manifest something here what are they thinking or feeling about Aquarius it's like they're trying not to lose hope here wow ace of coin brand new opportunity wanting to make some sort of an offer I feel like this star reverses that I'm having doubts Oh, I'm not sure if that's gonna work out. If this is this has a, if I have a chance, that kind of energy, you know. Let me clarify. Tell me about the star reverse. Yeah, they're having doubts, the full reverse. Oh, this might be too risky, might be reckless. Um, I'm not prepared. Um, I don't know how things are gonna happen. Yeah, and so this is causing delays. Something's not coming together. Your person feels like they need more time, more, more, more work is needed, more effort is needed here with temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy. Not sure why your person's having doubts. Maybe you haven't communicated about this ace of coin. Maybe they feel like you will resist this offer or reject them in some way. Tell me about the ace of coins. Tell me about the ace of coins for Aquarius. I feel like this person that you're dealing with, there's something to do here with uh, money, finances. I feel like it's tied to like this Ten of Pentacles. This Ten of Pentacles, this Queen of Coin, this 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 higher font. I feel like this is something here. There's like money is tied up in some way. Money is a, a concern. This tower, I feel, with this ace of coin, it's almost like a surprise offer. Yeah, they've changed. They've had a change of heart here. Renewed interest in something, but their judgment is blocked. I feel like it's almost like they might not have learned from their first mistake, from their first choice. Perhaps they're not able to see something from a different angle, a different um, perspective. Perhaps they there's more time here that then your person needs a little bit more time to figure things out, to really learn a lesson. So what are their next actions going to be towards Aquarius? What are their next actions going to be? towards Aquarius. Aquarius, if this is resonating for you, please leave me a comment. Let me know how it's resonating for you. Also hit the like button if you are enjoying the reading. Helps out the channel a lot and is free. What are their next actions going to be? Spirit towards Aquarius. What are their next actions going to be? Interesting. The Empress reverse. So they don't, it's like they don't have resource. Again, I feel like this person's really tied up with finances or assets or something like that. Because with the Empress reverse, this is someone that doesn't have the power or the resources to manifest. What are their next actions going to be towards Aquarius? So I feel like, you know, the Magician reverse, the Empress reverse, this person hasn't been able to make something happen. Ten of Wands, something to do with burdens, responsibilities, obligations, baggage. The Chariot, wow. Cancer energy. So this is someone that I feel is going to make some sort of move here. Their next actions are going to, 
involve travel of some sort, a direction, moving forward towards a goal here. So I feel like their next actions are probably going to be to come see you. Wow. So this person, I don't know if with the hermit here, maybe you guys are not talking, communicating. Perhaps one of you ghosted or withdrew from the connection. Maybe a lot of time has passed or it's almost like your person, you know, it's like they're imagining that they're not going to get their wish. It's almost like this person really feels like they would not be successful. Let me know if that's true. You know, if this person were to make you an, another offer, have a heart to heart with you, would it change anything? Tell me more about this Empress Reverse. page of cups yeah so they're gonna they're gonna offer they're gonna make some sort of um they're gonna express themselves in some way to you it could be an apology an offer of love why is the tower here king of swords so some sort of communication is either going to be a surprise or it's going to cause a tower with the king of swords seven of cups I feel like that tower is going to give someone options. King of Wands. Yeah. Options to make a move of some sort. So I feel like this is all kind of um, ongoing Aquarius. Your person, you, you know, when they think of you, you are their soulmate and you are who they want to move towards. But there are doubts. And I feel like there are doubts here because there's some sort, something else that this person has not been able to bring together. They haven't been able to manifest or bring something together in harmony. And I feel like it's mental. It's more like a mental block because they want to express themselves to you. They want to, you know, either apologize or tell you that, you know, they're interested in you, whatever the case here. But they haven't been able to either, perhaps they feel like you weren't, you wouldn't be receptive to that communication or perhaps they are having doubts that that would go anywhere or be successful. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for your comments. I read them all, even though I cannot respond to them all. So thank you so much to everyone who takes the time to do that. I hope you all have a great rest of your month. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you all in another video. Take care.